Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, appreciate your patience as you've been uh, waiting for us to be able to, to get back before you to, uh, to share some information with you. Um, yesterday, uh, we talked about our efforts, uh, mostly regarding uh, searching the area of the, of the surface out in the ocean, uh, 15 to 20 miles offshore with the debris fields. Um, that part of the search uh, has, has been suspended. Uh, late yesterday afternoon, uh, we were able to uh, positively locate and identify uh, the wreckage uh, and the remains of the, the fuselage, the, the uh, cabin portion uh, of the aircraft, <clears throat> and that has been our focus of our search and recovery efforts today. Uh, we began early this morning with getting our dive crews assembled and, uh, and out at the wreck site, which is about three miles off of the beach uh, in the ocean, uh, got our divers in place, and, uh, and they began their dive operations uh, early this afternoon and has spent a few hours uh, in the water uh, at that area of the, of the uh, crash site. It's about 55 foot of water in that area, uh, conducting recovery operations uh, in that area. Uh, our primary mission has been to recover um, the passengers who were aboard the plane and secondarily to recover uh, any um, equipment, uh, transponders, flight data, uh, uh, instrumentation that may, ca may have captured some uh, data from the flight uh, that was secondary in our mission and, uh, and our divers have been able to, uh, to accomplish uh, partially uh, uh, both of those missions. We have been able to uh, recover uh, remains uh, from passengers on board uh, and also some of the uh, equipment uh, that we've been able to bring to the surface and hopefully that will help the NTSB in their investigation uh, with uh, attempting to determine uh, what happened with the plane in flight just prior to the crash. Sir, how many of the passengers were found in the cabin? Well, we're not able to actually give that number um, with uh, the, 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 the number of, of, uh, of uh, folks who have been recovered. Um, it's, um, the only thing I can say at this point is that we have recovered remains. I'm, we're not able to say that at this point. As far as recovering remains, is, if the weather stays the way it is and any resources you have, how long do you think it would take to do a part of the job of the divers? Well, I, I think our divers have, uh, have, have done uh, most of what needs to be done today. Uh, we're looking at the, the possibility of, of, of doing a future dive, uh, which could be uh, as early as tomorrow. So that's your thinking. Um, is that for the, the remains of the, of the plane? Is that, is that what you're concerned with for this effort? Well, when I, what I was first talking about was the debris, uh, the debris field that was on the surface of the water, the items that would have been floating uh, on the surface. Uh, that had been a, 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 the, the main focus of our, of our operations uh, the first two days. Uh, our focus today was, was underwater uh, with the fuselage, uh, the cabin of the aircraft uh, resting on the bottom. And, uh, and doing what we could to, uh, to recover passengers and, uh, and also any of the equipment from the plane which could be uh, uh, helpful uh, in the investigation uh, with the NTSB uh, with trying to piece together uh, uh, what actually occurred on the aircraft just prior to the crash. So, Sheriff, any immediate next steps? I know we talked about uh, possibly sending out diving crews again. Anything else um, from the county perspective that's going to be in the next steps over the next couple of days, over the rest of the week, even weeks to follow? Well, our focus is uh, with recovering, uh, obviously recovering human remains. Um, our primary mission is to, is to work with the medical examiner's office in making uh, positive identifications and, uh, and hopefully being able to uh, uh, have the remains um, turned over to the family members so that they can make their plans uh, for services and, and hopefully get closure uh, for, the, for the families of the passengers uh, in this incident. from whether it's Facebook, whether it's other social media platforms, people have been dropping names. People have been saying the names of different people involved in the crash. Right. Um, obviously, we, we, we heard the Coast Guard say, you know, it's a 24-hour time window from um, from when the next of kin is notified to when that is released. Um, and then, obviously, we've still been kind of waiting throughout the day. Any indication on when we're going to get an official release of those names from, from any, any law agents? 
Well, we've, re we've released the names. Uh, my office released earlier the names of the passengers who were on board the plane uh, that we knew were, were aboard the plane. Um, uh, but you have a, a, a another situation of recovering uh, the remains of the passengers and making positive identifications uh, of those passengers. And now uh, how difficult has the recovery effort been with the remains being so deeply buried? Well, it, has, it, it certainly has been a challenge. Uh, cer certainly every one of these types of situations is different. Um, if, a, if a plane goes down in shallow water, that certainly – uh, presents a different situation than, than one that goes down uh, in the area like we're talking about. We're talking about 55 feet of water. Uh, further offshore, the, the water is much deeper. Uh, but certainly um, in the, it, the, with the, the weather that we're experiencing now, uh, the cold weather, 55 foot of water, um, and the conditions, the windy conditions and choppy seas that, uh, that our crews have had to uh, experience and fight against, uh, it has been a challenge. Uh, but, uh, but our crews, have, uh, they, they've gotten through it. And uh, they've done uh, tremendous work, and uh, I'm very proud of, of what everyone has have, uh, been able to accomplish working together uh, uh, in this effort. Um, any secondary <coughs> items that were recovered successfully? I know we talked about uh, the fuselage. Um, any, any belongings, any moving pieces, things that were able, that we were able to recover on that front? Is there any secondary items? There have been some personal items that have been recovered. I, here again, I, I, I can't go into, into detail about, uh, about that. Um, but some personal items have been recovered, uh, some of the electronics from the from the aircraft, uh, and the and and the, and the re remains from passengers. What kind of resources are out there working for you, folks club? I know is out there. I heard maybe you feel the need or the idea of how big an operation it is and what you see available to you. Well, and we have a we have a list that we will provide to everyone uh, as, as far as those who have partnered with us, but. Uh, this has been a, a tremendous effort and uh, a lot of resources and a lot of manpower uh, put forth towards this effort by the Sheriff's Office, the Coast Guard, Marine Patrol, Wildlife, um, uh, Towboat USA is a company that's helped us with some of their divers today, uh, the Sydney Dive Team, which is based out of Beaufort County, and some other volunteer divers, uh, one of whom is a retired Navy SEAL. Um, it, we, we've had, a, we've had a, a lot of help uh, today. Uh, and, and, and others that, that, that I didn't just mention, uh, but we will provide a list of those who have, who have helped. And uh, we've been in communication uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the families of the passengers, and, um, and they're just so appreciative of, of everything that, 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 that all of our partners and, and personnel that have been involved have, uh, have been able to do to, to assist in this effort. And, uh, and I'd also like to thank the public as well. Um, it's just been a, a tremendous outpouring of support uh, for the entire community generally and the families specifically. And uh, I can't tell you how much that means uh, to the survivors that, and, and the family members uh, and friends and, and just the community in general uh, down East Carteret County, Carteret County as a whole, Eastern North Carolina. Um, I mean, it's just, uh, it, 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 it's, it, it's just amazing the, the people that have come together uh, to support the families and uh, and support this effort. Sure. Yeah. What are some of the things you've seen from the community outreach perspective? I know we've seen a few things around, whether it's ribbons, whether it's uh, you know different kind of music, even people cry uh, on, the, on, the, on the marquee right mm -hmm. here. What are some of the things that you've seen? I know obviously a lot of the efforts have been towards the search and recovery, but what, what are some things that you've seen from the community outreach perspective? Any number of different things, and, and, and I might not be the one to ask that because I've been I've been here uh, for the past few days, and and I've been focused on what we've had to do here. But uh, but from a lot of the reports and things that I've been told, uh, Facebook, social media messages, talking with the families, the phone calls that they've received, people that have come by, food that's been delivered. I mean, even here with our operations, you know, we've we've had people come by and and, and help out and just express their support, and uh, and from the very beginning, just uh, uh, local people and. And, uh, and citizens and, and volunteers uh, just calling, showing up, what can I do? Uh, just people wanting to help. And um, I mean, it, it's just, um, uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a tremendous effort amongst, uh, amongst everybody. And uh, I just, I, I can't tell you how much it, it really means to everybody involved. Uh, the, the family members, the survivors, and all of us who were, who were charged with doing the duty that, that we have to do just knowing that people support you. Uh, I mean, I personally have received 
countless text messages of people saying, hey, we, we understand what you're going through. We know you guys have a tremendous challenge, and we support you. And, uh, I mean, that just that just means so much. And now, Sheriff, I know we're running close to the time limit. What is it that you would like for the community? <coughs> well, I am very close to this community. Um, uh, I'm from Beaufort. Half my family's from down here. I know the people involved. And um, I know some of them very closely, very good friends um, with many of them. I'm the sheriff of everybody in this county, and um, and these are my people, and I want to do what I can to help them, and um, and and we're all there for them. And uh, it has been hard; it's been tremendously hard. But um, but like I've said, we're all going to get through this together, and we all have to lean on one another, and and that includes us too. And um, but. Uh, we're working on it together, and we're going to get through it together. And uh, this is a, a close-knit community. Um, even if you aren't all family, you're still friends. And where I come from, when you're friends, that's just like being family. And uh, so uh, it, it is a close community, and uh, a lot of folks are hurting right now. And um, But we're going to get through it, and we're going to get through it together. Captain. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, good afternoon, everybody. Um, you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, I appreciate uh, everything that the sheriff just said. It's uh, truly been an honor to serve alongside him and the other responders here from all the federal, state, and local entities, uh, the volunteers here in uh, Down East, Carteret County, Eastern North Carolina, as the sheriff mentioned. So, um, you know, earlier today, the Coast Guard flew a C-130 overflight. And uh, unlike yesterday, when we were able to locate some debris fields, uh, today we weren't as successful. You know, so uh, we, we no longer are finding debris fields out there in the ocean. So we, we pulled back and we supported the dive operations today, uh, the recovery efforts that are ongoing, you know, uh, you know, late into this afternoon. You know, so we, we set up a safety zone, have a fast response cutter from out of Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, the Coast Guard cutter Richard Snyder, that was out there ensuring the, the safety of our dive teams, you know, working right alongside the locals otherwise. So. Um, but beyond that, uh, I've mentioned before, uh, you know, our, our condolences, our sympathies go out to the families. I've got to meet with multiple of the families uh, last night uh, and today, and, and the heartbreak is real. Um, it, it certainly hit, hits home uh, to a lot of us in the Coast Guard, you know, who call Eastern North Carolina home, uh, you know, down east and right here in Carteret County. Uh, there's a longstanding heritage of, of Coast Guard women and men who come from here uh, who retire to this area and, and call this place home. Um, I had the honor back in July of uh, 2021 uh, to be part of re a redesignation ceremony for Carteret County uh, being redesignated as a Coast Guard community. And uh, we take that real serious. You know, just like the, the sheriff said, you know, you're either family or friends, but it's better to, you know, ha have both of them and have friends that feel like family. And, and that's how we've been welcomed here. That's how our families have been welcomed to this area. And so we're honored to serve alongside all the rest of the responders here uh, doing our absolute best you know, to uh, to bro provide some level of closure to the to the families who continue to grieve. So, thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Rob Jackson. I'm honored to serve as the superintendent for the Carteret County Public School System. Over the course of the last two and a half days, we've heard countless stories about the four young men who were passengers on the plane stories of them being incredible friends, them being incredible students, them being incredible representatives of their families and the Down East community. We teach our youngest students that in times of trouble, we look for the helpers. And in our community, we've seen the helpers. Helpers like our sheriff and the men and women in his department, helpers like the Coast Guard, helpers like the local fire and rescue teams, helpers like the local citizens who've stepped forward in support of all of the efforts. We've also seen helpers like our school system counselors and our school system psychologists, our crisis response teams, who responded from across our school system to East Carteret High School where the passengers were students and responded to each of the Down East schools. Starting yesterday morning and going forward as long as that support is needed, our counselors and support teams, our crisis teams have been available 
to our students and staff to make sure that they had the opportunity to process and their needs were met. Prior to coming to Carteret County, I'd heard quite often the term Carteret Strong, particularly in the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. Over the course of the last two and a half days, I've absolutely seen what it means to be Carteret Strong. Tomorrow, Wednesday, students by their request at rival high schools here in Carteret County have asked to wear blue and gold to represent and in honor of the passengers in East Carteret High School and will be wearing camo on Thursday as we come together as a school system, family and solidarity to honor the students who are on the plane, to honor the families and to honor the Down East community. It is an honor and it's a blessing to see the helpers who've responded. It's an honor and a blessing to see all those across the school system from all of our schools reach out in support. We certainly appreciate the blessing of being able to say that we have been, we are, and we will remain harder at strong. Thank you. Well, certainly this is a, a very challenging work, um, physically and emotionally. And um, uh, so far, everybody's doing pretty well. Um, uh, I, cert I certainly hope that uh, continues. But uh, when you deal with uh, tragic incidents, um, oftentimes it, it can take a toll on, on people. And uh, so we certainly have provision for that as well for if any of our workers need assistance in the future, uh, we're certainly in a position to be able to, to do what we can to provide assistance uh, in that regard. Thank you. Dr. Jackson, I wanted to ask a question. Um, you referenced the uh, reduced classroom personnel that you've had available in the, in the school system. Um, what, are, what, are they, what are they seeing right now? I mean, obviously this is, this is traumatic uh, at this point, you know, and especially as, a, as an adolescent or even as a teenager, too. I mean, what are, how, are the, how are the new classes kind of, what are, what's some of the responses that you've been so far? Thank you. Our counselors have been a, available in the media center allowing students to request an opportunity to talk uh, to a caring adult or to talk in a small group just to simply share their feelings. Uh, today as we enter the, the second day we began to see students who were telling each other great stories of beautiful memories at Atlantic Elementary School and Down East Middle School and East Carteret High School. And so we've seen students open up with the counselors. Some students have not yet uh, stepped forward to talk with someone, and we understand everyone grieves differently. And so our counselors and school psychologists are trained to, to take their time and allow the students to come forward as they're ready to come forward. And so it's been very important to us to make sure that our students and our teachers and staff who um, care for and love all of our students so much also have that opportunity. And so. Uh, we have seen students coming forward and, and just sharing their feelings and having that open space and caring space to be able to, to process because this is hard for adults, harder still, I think, for teenagers who've grown up with their friends who are suddenly taken from them. Thank you. I'm Chris Chadwick. I'm a Carter County Commissioner for the Down East area. And uh, these, like the other gentlemen spoke, uh, these people are our family. They're lifelong friends of mine and my family, and everybody down east is heartbroken. And uh, we will get through this together. We're going to need the help of the Lord to help us with it. Uh, I'd like to thank all our county staff, our the sheriff's office, our Clark County Emergency Management, and all our firefighters. Uh, we've been on the scene since the beginning on, what was it, Sunday night? On Sunday night from the first recovery right on till today nonstop and uh, we have some great first responders in Carter County and uh, not only is Carter County the best place in the world to live in my opinion uh, nobody comes together nobody comes together like the Down East people and uh, we will get through this and I uh, just like everybody to keep the Down East people in your thoughts and prayers thank you 